Eric Wiener, The Geography of Genius, A Search for the World's Most Creative Places from Ancient Athens to Silicon Valley. Step into a journey through history and explore the world's most creative places in Eric Wiener's book, The Geography of Genius. From Ancient Athens to Silicon Valley, uncover the unique circumstances that led to the rise of clusters of geniuses that revolutionized societies and cultures. Delve into how chaos and order mingled to create fertile environments from which groundbreaking ideas and inventions emerged. Discover how various places throughout time attracted creative individuals who contributed significantly to advancements in art, science, philosophy, and innovation. This book summary encapsulates the intriguing stories of genius clusters and provides illuminating insights into the overarching connection between geography and creative breakthroughs. Defining Genius Margaret Bowden and Keith Simonton explore the definition and cultural influences of genius. Bowden's criteria for creative genius aligns with the U.S. Patent Office's standards, while Simonton believes that genius clusters arise in various cultural contexts throughout history. Both scholars affirm that genius cannot be self-declared, it must be acknowledged by others. To understand the origins of creative clusters of genius, Simonton suggests starting with ancient Greece. Athens, a place of creativity. The vibrant city of Athens, known for its ancient history, democracy, and innovation, was a hub of creativity during the period of peace between the Persian and Peloponnesian Wars. Home to philosophers, architects, and sculptors, Athens was a place where art and poetry were part of everyday life, and intellectual exchanges were encouraged. The magnetic theory of genius holds that creative places attract creative people, and Athens's openness to other cultures and ideas brought alphabet, mathematics, medicine, and sculpture from neighboring countries. Athens challenges us with its difficulties and demands, earning its place in history as a place of genius. Creative Minds in Hangzhou Hangzhou in China, during the Song Dynasty, was led by enlightened emperor poets who fostered new technologies. Their creativity and innovation led to the invention of toilet paper and mechanical clocks and made the works of Confucius and Lao Tzu available to the merchant class. Hangzhou's great minds excelled in nautical navigation, medicine, and topographical mapping. The city's West Lake inspired over 25,000 poems, and Shen Kuo, a poet, astronomer, diplomat, and inventor, capitalized on his political exile by writing his masterpiece, Brush Talks. Hangzhou was a global city where geniuses flourished and disrupted the status quo. The Genius Cluster At the core of the Renaissance was Florence, a small and swampy city, plagued by disease. The Medicis, a powerful and wealthy family, were the financial backers of the Renaissance. They demanded innovation, recognized talent, and financed great works, and in return, were granted indulgences from the Roman Catholic Church. Michelangelo, a 14-year-old boy, was spotted sculpting by Lorenzo Medici, who took him under his wing. The city also nurtured would-be geniuses in artists' workshops, where apprentices learned the trade. Leonardo da Vinci famously apprenticed in Andrea del Verrocchio's workshop, where he painted a fish in Verrocchio's painting Tobias and the Angel. Filippo Brunelleschi, inspired by Rome's pantheon, created the Church of Santa Maria del Fiore trademark dome, the Duomo. Lorenzo Ghiberti was his rival, and the two competed to create the bronze doors on the baptistry of Santa Maria del Fiore. The result was the Genius Cluster, which produced some of history's most iconic works of art and architecture. Edinburgh's Golden Age Edinburgh's Golden Age saw remarkable achievements in various fields, from Adam Smith's establishment of capitalism and James Hutton's breakthrough in geology to David Hume's philosophical contributions. The Scottish Enlightenment was marked by a group of practical geniuses who focused on finding better ways of doing things. These geniuses were known for their contributions in chemistry, geology, engineering, economics, and medicine. The Royal Infirmary was founded by John Monroe, and by 1789, a significant percentage of the city's male students were pursuing medical careers. Meanwhile, 
James Young Simpson pioneered the use of chloroform as an anesthetic. Scottish Enlightenment thinkers met in clubs such as the Mirror Club, Rankinian Club, Corchulain Club, and the Six Foot High Club. One such club was the Oyster Club, co-founded by Adam Smith, Joseph Black, and Hutton, where members would consume oysters while debating topics of the week. The Scottish Enlightenment was fueled by these gatherings, which encouraged verbal assaults known as flighting, similar to the Bengalis, Atta, where conversations had no point but were never considered pointless. The Bengal Renaissance The Bengal Renaissance between 1840 and 1920 established Calcutta as a hub of intellectual and creative activity, home to notable figures such as Jagadish Bose, Rabindranath Tagore, and David Hare. Bose conducted groundbreaking experiments on radio waves and plant life, while Hare established Hindu College. Tagore, a poet, artist, and Nobel Prize winner, expressed his own theory of relativity to Albert Einstein, that human awareness is necessary for the existence of beauty. Hindus view genius as a light bulb illuminating a room, bringing the objects within it to light. Vienna's Musical Geniuses In the early 1800s, Vienna was eager to establish itself as a cultural center and invested heavily in music. This led to the emergence of a thriving musical ecosystem that welcomed geniuses like Mozart, Beethoven, Haydn, and Schubert. Despite the city's noise, crowds, and dirt, there was a deep cultural appreciation for music woven into its fabric. Mozart, in particular, loved the city that embraced his music and indulged his vices, composing amidst commotion and completing hundreds of pieces before his death at 35. Beethoven, on the other hand, spent a lifetime trying to differentiate himself from Mozart and had a reputation as a slob. Haydn, their mentor and teacher, was a brilliant composer who kept to a strict schedule. Vienna's composers thrived amid audiences who appreciated their work and the works of other musicians, creating a lasting legacy. Vienna's Intellectual Hub Vienna in the early 1900s was an international city with a significant immigrant population, and its inhabitants walked the newly constructed. Ringstrasse Boulevard and met in coffeehouses such as the iconic Café Sproul. These cafés served as idea incubators, and intellectuals such as Gustav Klimt, Ernst Mach, Gustav Mahler, and Sigmund Freud frequented them. Freud was an outsider and a Jewish immigrant in Vienna, which frequently subjected him to marginalization. Nonetheless, he surrounded himself with personal collections and became the excavator of the human psyche. It was during his weekly Wednesday circle gatherings with fellow physicians that he discussed his revolutionary psychoanalytic theories. Like other geniuses, Freud used failure as a vital source of critical information and obtained support to anchor his sanity. Overall, Vienna's intellectual hub attracted smart, ambitious people, providing different cultural backgrounds and life experiences. Silicon Valley's Origins Silicon Valley, a suburban area, was born in a Palo Alto garage, where Bill Hewlett and Dave Packard invented the audio oscillator. The area's growth was first fortified with government money during the Cold War, and it was further developed by the actions of Stanford University and Palo Alto native Fred Terman. Terman's founding of the Stanford Industrial Park and Stanford Research Institute paved the way for the idea of science for practical purposes, leading to the birth of great inventions by the likes of Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs. After exploring the world's most creative places in history, we find that genius clusters shared several common characteristics, international outlook, an embrace of chaos and order, a deep cultural appreciation for the arts and sciences, and a strong support system that nurtured creativity. Notable places like ancient Athens, Renaissance Florence, Enlightenment Edinburgh, and modern-day Silicon Valley fostered a rich environment for creative individuals to flourish and contribute to humanity's cultural and intellectual legacy. This book offers a comprehensive understanding of how physical locations, combined with transformative historical moments, shape the landscape of creative innovations that have left lasting impacts on the world. By reflecting on the stories and patterns of history's genius clusters, we are reminded of the vital role that geography and culture play in shaping the creative genius of individuals and societies alike.